we have the table of showbread, altar of incense, the lampstand. This is in the holy place. And here's in the outer court, we have the brazen altar and the labor. And everything that we can see in the tabernacle is pointing to Jesus. Everything is pointing to Jesus. This is the gate. This is the gate. Jesus is the gate. And he is the Lamb of God. This one. He was uh, sacrificed. He is the living water. When you were baptized, Jesus is the living water. And when he is the light of the world, he is light of the world. He is the light of the world. And then we have number five is, is the bread of life, the word of God. And the altar of incense, he is our intercession. And then the veil was removed when he died on the cross. And so the veil was removed. And his body is the veil that was torn on the cross. And this is the mercy seat. His blood on the mercy seat, this one, at the free mercy seat. And that this is the art. Okay. Everything that we see in the tabernacle is pointing to Jesus. They are all significant in our lives today. Amen. So, uh, at the And then, even in our worship, the tabernacle is also applied. We can enter, we can sacrifice, confess, we have cleansing, the forgiveness, we have worship here in the holy place. And when we come to the holy of holiness, we have the encounter with them. Amen? So let's get here. And then the tabernacle, as I've mentioned, is the sign of Yahweh's presence whenever the Hebrew, Hebrews and come. And the ark, this is the ark. The tabernacle, it is the place. It is where the ark of the covenant is placed. Okay? So this is the ark signified his presence whenever the people were on the move. And it is also the symbol of Yahweh's enduring and eternal presence. At the top, that's the very presence of God. Then signify. And then today, during the Old Testament, it is the art of the covenant, the art of the Lord, or the art of the testimony. Today it is called the art of his blessings. Okay. Next is this is the art of God was captured by the Philistine. You know the art of God is very important to the Israelites. They were, um, Moses was, was instructed by God to, to do exactly, exactly for him, ginawa niya. What the Lord commanded him, he exactly did. The materials, the size, everything, just exactly. And the tabernacle, kung ano, how God asked him to do, ganun din po. He did the tabernacle as God commanded him exactly. Yung po mga materials and the dimension, the size, everything. Moses did it exactly the what commanded the him. And during that time, the Ark of the Covenant was captured by the Philistine. Remember, the Philistine is the enemy of the Israelites. The Israelites is the chosen people of God. They are the special, special people of God, the Israelites. And when they, they were in the battle against the Philistine, the Israelite was defeated, and the Ark of Covenant was captured. Why? Why was, why was the Israelites defeated? And why was the Ark of the Covenant captured? Okay? Israel was defeated because of sin and rebellion and apostasy. Okay? The art could not be treated with irreverence because it was the symbol of God's presence and symbol of God's judgment and what. Hindi po natin pwede klaro-laroin ang presensya ng Panginoon. It is the holiest thing, the holiest thing in the world. The most important 
that we can have, the very presence of God. Remember the gospel to enter the heavens and the earth, the whole universe is abiding in you. Amen? So we cannot feel the presence of God with irreverence. Next, the art uh, could not be treated with irreverence because it was the symbol of God's judgment and God. You see? The, the Israelites treated the art of covenant as a lack of Okay, how? Okay. You know, the presence of God does not dwell in an unholy places. When there is sin, there is an there is unholiness. When there is rebellion, there is unholiness. And God's presence will not dwell in an unholy vessel. They treated the Ark of Covenant as a lock drug. When they were being defeated, so they were uh, in sin, engaged in different kinds of sin, so they were defeated. And what the purest the Israelites said, let's take, let's get the let's get the the Ark of the Covenant. And then let's bring it here so that we will gain, we will win the battle. But they do not do not want to turn away from their sin. So now we can say, put in the Ark of Covenant. No? Kahit na makasalanan sila, sige punin natin. But you know, as I said, the, the Holy God cannot dwell on an unholy dwelling place. In a place where there is sin, where there is rebellion. Remember when I was uh, in uh, elementary, you know, they, uh, uh, we are living in Makati. I have, we have this Bible, a very big Bible. A very good, very good Bible. In, at the time, but naka close siya, para siyang gold plated. And then, as I look at it, it's like a leather, yung kung cover niya. But you know, it's inside the glass. It is enclosed to the glass. Okay? But the people there, in our home, they, they consider it holy. The Bible is holy. They do not touch it. It is holy. They believe na ito ay makakapagligtas sa kanila pag meron silang Bible. But, everyone is engaged in sin. There is gambling. There was gambling. Okay? There was uh, immorality in our house during that time. I'm still, uh, I was not born again yet. All kinds of immorality, all kinds of sin were well there in our house. But, we treat the Bible as so holy. Kala namin, this one will save us. Okay? And then, ganun po yung ginawa ng mga Israelites. Next, they treated the Ark of Covenant like idols. Remember yung mga idols? We carry the idols. Diba? Every time we carry the idols. When I was in Fort High School in Mandaluyong, where I stayed with my, uh, my sister when she gave birth, at the side, beside our, beside the house, there was a big fire. Okay, there was a big fire, and then the first thing my sister did was he, she looked for the Santo Nino and she carried it out. She brought it out. She put on the top of the car and placed the Santo Nino facing the fire. <laughs> huh? And then believing that the fire, will, that the Santo Nino will cause the fire to stop, like that is. You know, sometimes when there is fire, we get all this. When something is happening, tra uh, tragic things, or like the, we have the earthquakes, all the other three, they bring all their small, medium, and large. And that's what the, the uh, Israelites did. So, the Lord let the Israelites defeated and captured the earth. Okay. They disregarded the commands of the Lord. Because again, they did not follow, they did not obey the word of God. That even they are disobeying, they believe that with the Ark of Covenant, they will win. But it is not God's way. 
Kailangan natin yung kahit tayong makasalanan. Pag ano, we disobey the command of God. Do you think God will favor us? No. Amen. So, this is the very sad things that Israelites experience. The glory has departed from Israel. You say, when the glory departed in Israel, they were defeated, different kinds of destruction, tragedies uh, came in that nation. They experienced because the glory departed from Israel when the ark of God has been captured. And then that's the little background. And then when the glory has departed from Israel, okay, when sin is involved, I said the glory of God will depart. When sin is involved, our shouting, our singing become empty religion. No matter how you praise, no matter how you sing, say no matter, okay, they will become an empty religion. Kahit kumalakpak ka ng kumalakpak, sumigaw ka ng sumigaw. But when you are in sin, it's just nothing before that. Amen? So, my title is Bring Back the Presence of God in the Church. Okay? You are the Church. You say, I am the Church. I am the Church. Nakasayong, I am the Church. I am the Church. Isa pa, I am the Church. I am the Church. You know the song we sang, that this is the air we breathe. Your holy presence living in the world. What God is telling us to bring back the, the presence of God in the Church, it's not a momentary presence. It's not a seasonal presence. Not only when we sing that we experience His presence, but the song said, This is me and I do. Your holy presence. Ibig sabihin, hindi na po natin. Pinakahini na natin. The presence of God. Pinakahini na natin. You know, yun pong the God is not just, God is not unreachable. Diba? Pag tumatawag tayo sa phone, cannot be rich. The Lord will not answer you when you call, uh, what, what number? 333? The Lord will not say, cannot be rich. Diba? He will always answer. Amen? Amen po ba? He can be rich. Amen. And you are the church. Alam niyo po, God is telling me that what He wants from us is to experience His abiding presence. You can every time you're there, you can clearly hear His voice. You can clearly hear His direction. You can clearly hear when He says, My daughter, my son, that's not the way. This is the way. But you po yung gusto ng Panginoon. He really wanted you to hear Him on a regular basis. Yung pinakakiling na po natin, because God is alive. God is a person. Hindi po siya nasa langit. Kasi kung nasa langit siya, no one can reach Him. But He is in our heart. He is in our heart. If we could only allow God, if you, can, if you will allow God, he will. He will. Amen? And then, you know David is the greatest king among his, during his generation. The most powerful king, the wealthiest king in his generation. He was even the man after God's own heart. Siya po yung sabi sa pastor malapit sa puso ng Panginoon. Siya po yung malapit na malapit sa puso ng Panginoon. You know what? When David, after 20 years, before David, it was King Saul who reigned in Israel. And King Saul 
Wala siyang pakilang. He doesn't care about the art of the God. That's why he was captured by the enemy. And King David, after 20 years, you know, he said, I want the presence of God. I want to bring back the presence of God in the city of God, in the city of David. And he said, he prepared, okay? He prepared to bring back the heart of God or the presence of God. Number one, you know, when you feel na, when you feel as if the presence of God is, has departed from you, you know what? You will first, the first thing you should do, you should prepare to bring back the presence of God. You should prepare. One, maybe you made a plan. You have to make a plan. And then, David made a plan in Hagar and chose the best soldier. Amen? What God is speaking to us, go. Go with those who, who experience the presence of God. Go with them. Mingle with them. Worship with them. And then you will, the, the presence of God will trans, be transferred to you. Amen? So, mama ka sa kanina. And then David did the plan. He arose. Okay? And went with all the people that were with him. So, mama ko siya, makasama ka. You go with them. Amen? Not only you mingle, and then the, when they meet, you will be left alone. You go with them. Amen? And then, David and the best soldiers acted on the plan. Amen? Hindi ka lang magla-plano. You act on the plan. Amen? Because King David, the most wealthiest and the most uh, powerful during that time, made this. He made a plan. He acted. Okay? And then, David and his men did not stop. And they brought him out on the house of Abinadam, which was, was at Gideon, accompanying the Ark of God. They did not stop. You know, when you are worshiping, parang wala. Nasa kalagit na ka, bigla kang titigil. But these people did not stop. They did not stop. They, they pursue. They pursue, they persist until the Ark of God ay nagilabas nila. They brought out the Ark of God. God. Amen? Pre Number one is prepare. Prepare. In 2 Samuel 6, 5, next is, there is the unusual celebration. See? They were celebrating with all their might before the Lord. Okay? They are celebrating when Filipino are known by nature as people of Amen? When if we are expecting someone or a visitor from other uh, nations, from other countries, especially the Bayans or from the provinces, we celebrate. We are excited. How much more if the presence of God is coming in our house. What celebration we will do? So it is a usual celebration. Amen? You know, with the presence of the art during the Old Testament, I believe this was already preached by Sister Angela. The, well, the waters of the river Jordan divided so that the Israelite would cross on dry land. Okay? The waters of the river Jordan divided so that Israelites could cross on dry land. You know what? When I met in years, sabi ng Panginoon, the Lord says, you know what? With my presence, no matter how deep, no matter how deep is the water you are facing to cross over on, to, on your destiny, with His presence, you will make it dry. You will be able to cross over that Jordan River. But you need the presence of the Lord. Amen? You cannot cross over whatever 
river. Mabago ang man yan, hindi ka makakapos over if the presence of the Lord is not in you. Amen? You need the presence of the Lord. Diba? We have so many, we have destiny. The Lord said we have a good destiny. We have a good destiny. Not only God promised that we have a good destiny, but along the way there, there are rivers, there are, there are oceans, there are seas to cross over. You know, when the Israelite said, when God said the Israelite uh, have, they, they should go to the promised land, the Lord promised, yes, God will bring them to the promised land. But the Lord said, He did not say there is no Red Sea. Did he say there is no Red Sea? No. What God promised, you will go to your promised land. But he did not say there is no Red Sea. Hey, there was a Red Sea. Before they went to the promised land. Before they crossed over. Amen. That's also true to us. God has a promise. We have a good destiny. But there are rivers. There are seas. But we need the presence of God. In His presence, He will guide us. Amen? In His presence. We all need the presence of God. Without His presence, even you, pinakamababaw, we will come. Mababaw yan. Malulunod ka pa rin kung wala ka sa Panginoon. Kung wala kang presensya ni Lord sa iyo. Next. The walls of Jericho fell so that the Israelites could capture it. You know what? And God promised you have something. Promotion. And whatever God promised to me, there are roads. There is a high road, a small road, a great place. Before you, before you, there is a wall. And the promise is at the back of, behind that wall. Because it's up in the Lord, capture, capture the Jericho. But he did not say there was no wall. There was a wall, but the Lord said, Capture! Jericho! Ang kailangan na nila, what they needed was the presence of the Lord. If you, if you know that God is giving you something, giving you promotion, giving you a good start, a good start, a good, a new beginning, you need something for the Lord to move in your behalf, but you see there is a wall, wall between you and the thing that you wanted to, and the promise God has made, you only get the presence of the Lord. Amen? Like the Israelites, nakuha ko nila in Jericho, they captured Jericho. Amen? Because it was promised by God. Hindi po, the Lord will not say, oh, you will capture Jericho, this is Jericho. No! You will do something. You will obey His instruction. Let Moses obey God's specific instruction on how to heal the ark of the Lord and that the word of God, Moses did exactly what the Lord told him. And even in the Jordan River, when the Israelites crossed the Jordan River, the Israelites did exactly what God commanded them to do, as well as the Jericho, the fall of Jericho. When God is telling us something to do, do it exactly. Because when you do it exactly, when you obey it exactly, you know if your expectation will be met. Amen? Do you follow? Amen. Yes, thanks to God. Okay. On that report, we need to have reverence to God. Okay? Meron po tayong reverence is high respect. Highest respect to God. You see, uh, I will not read that next. Okay. When they came to the crushing floor of Nakun, Uzzah reached out and took hold of the heart of God because the oxen stumbled. 
the Lord's anger burned against Uzzah because of his prevented act. Therefore, God struck him down and he died. There beside the ark of God, then David was angry because of the Lord's wrath had broken out against Uzzah to this day that place is called Teres Uzzah. You know, alam niyo po, nagalit po, the reason for of God's anger, nagalit po ang Panginoon. When they are bringing out the Ark of the Covenant, they place it in a new cart, and then the, the, the oxen stumble and Uza, uh, what did they do? They catch, they try to catch the Ark of the Covenant. Kala po natin, it seems right. Ba? The Ark of the Covenant may will fall, and then it will catch the Ark of the Covenant. But God was, he came in with and Usap died. Ano yun yun? Ang kakaiba, no? Una po, the reason of God's anger, setting the art of God in a new court, carrying the art of God on a new court is against God's commands. Why? The priest should have carried the art upon their shoulders according to God's command to Moses in Exodus 25, 12, and 15. By doing so, they treated the Ark of Covenant as a common thing. Diba? Nilagay mo na nga, you have placed in a new Ark, the Ark of Covenant. And then that God get angry? I think that's a big question. But you know, it seems so right, but when they did that, they disobeyed the instruction of the Lord. Why? The Ark of the Covenant should be carried by the priest, not by a cart. Not by, yun, alam mo, cart kasi walang buhay. The cart is walang buhay, lifeless. Ano gagawin nyo? It's a lifeless. So walang buhay. And God wants someone who is alive. Okay? Number one reason is they disobeyed God. David disobeyed God. Next. David and his men disobeyed God. The Levites, at the point disobedience, you know, the Levites or the priests should carry the ark of God on their shoulder, not on the ark. Now, we are the believers. In 1 Peter 2 verse 9, it says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal Christian. During that time, the Levites carry the Ark of God. Now the Lord says, we are a royal priesthood. Sino po yung royal priesthood? We are. And we should be the carrier of God's presence. Amen? Hindi po yung mga hindi wala kay Kristo. But we, the royal priesthood, should be the carrier of God's presence. Amen? Okay, the reasons of God's anger pa then. David and his men indicated the way of the Philistine in carrying the Ark of God. You know, the, the Ark of God when captured by the Philistine, okay, they, when, when the Ark of God was in the Philistine area, there were destructions, there were death, there was death, okay, destruction, uh, madaming namatay, madaming nagkasakit, because you see, the presence of God, the Ark of God, cannot dwell in an unholy places. And Philistine place was an unholy ground. That's why there were um, death, sickness, may mga boils, no? pedantic boils, everything. Destruction. So the Philistine, they were afraid, they bring back the heart to Israel, but not in the city of David. He brought the ark in, the, in Israel in the house of Abinadab. Abinadab was a Levite. And before, before he ministered the ark of the covenant, he consecrated himself. 
and before he face or minister to the heart of God, being consecrated. Nilinis niya po yung kanyang sarili. Okay? You poor Philistine, when they brought back the ark to Israel, they brought, they transported, okay? What happened? And they transported the ark on a cart, and Philistine symbol of the world, the enemy of the believers. Then it will report, they imitated the way the Philistine okay, carried the ark. Diba? They could have heard the word of God, but they imitated the way of the Philistine. And sometimes to us believers, we imitate the way of the world on how to have the presence of God. You know, the, the word says again, I'm doing good, I'm donating this here and there to the uh, orphanage, I'm giving money to the poor. Okay, that's the world says, but without the without relationship with, the, with God, there wala pong halaga yun. Amen? They are nothing. Ito po yung symbol. No? They are donating, giving, helping, but not repenting from their sins, not turning away from their sins, they remain in their, on their sins. Diba? Sige, mag-donate, tumulong, tumulong, pero ginagawa ko pa rin itong kasalanan ko. Huwag mo lang, huwag mo lang, ano, pakikailangan yung kasalanan ko, I will donate. Kaya nga, we will hear, oh, he's very kind. He has donated so many, uh, big sum of money to this and to that, and surely he will go to heaven. Is that it? No. But that's the way of the world. And David and his men imitated the way of the enemy. Okay? And some of us, along the way, God, we are guilty along the way. But God is a God of choices and God teach us the right way. Okay? Amen po ba? Okay. Alam niyo po, ito, they should have the eye of the covenant carried by the priest. Yan. Amen. Dapat dito yan. Yan po yung nasa word. That's, yan po yung nasa uh, salita ng Diyos. But the Philistine, Ganito po ginawa nila. Yeah. See? The priest, the river is carrying the ark of God. Animals carrying the ark of God. Animals and the cart. Life test. Okay? Next. Reasons for God's anger. See also po, he was the one to try to catch the art of the covenant. Okay? They tried to catch. When it's about to fall, they tried to catch the art of the covenant. And this was strictly forbidden by God. It was strictly forbidden by God. Okay? It says in Numbers 14, it says, they shall not touch any holy things lest they die. But he did the Levites, okay? If you touch a holy thing, you will die. Remember in the in the tabernacle, in the boat, the holy of holies, who is permitted to go inside the holy of holies? Only the priest, the high priest. When someone who is not a high priest or a high priest in sin, once they enter the holy of holies, automatically they die. Napaka strict po ng Panginoon before and even today. But I can do this. Okay, who have made a decision in the moment to disregard God's command and to do what seemed right to do? Okay, even decision that made in a moment matter before God. You know that even a, uh, a decision in a moment, in big lang decision natin, it also matters before God. Right? So most of the times we are caught unaware because of our decision made in a moment. Lagi mo pa nagkakamali yung bigla ang decision. But this matters to God. 
That's why we need the presence of God. Amen? Next. <clears throat> the reverence of a person when he touched the heart of God, who says friend? Okay? And what he thought, remember the Usa was the son of Abinadab. And the ark of the covenant stayed in the house of Abinadab for 20 years. So Usa became so familiar with the presence of God. 20 years na kasakasama niya. Ark of the covenant inside their house. So si Usa po, he thought, it didn't matter who carried the ark kasi nalagin na doon yun. Lagi siyang na doon. Parang he became so familiar. The sin of familiarity. Okay? Minsan, ganun po. Ganun, pag nagtagal na tayo, parang so familiar na tayo, okay, okay na lang. It didn't matter kung ano ang tama at mali. Okay? It didn't matter how the art was carried. You know, when you are carrying the art, you should be holy. Every time we sin, but every time we should see to it that we ask forgiveness. Because it matters how the presence of God dwells in you. It matters. But Usa thought it didn't matter how the heart was to be carried. Next, he knew all about the heart because it was in his father's house for so long. Kala niya, ganun lang. Kasi, lagi na nang nakikita, lagi na nang ginagawa. The same, all the same. Okay? Next is, he thought that to the taker of the art of himself. The art himself. Okay? The art of God himself should be in him. Kala niya hindi kaya ng Lord. He thought God needs the, the help of a man. He thought that God is weak. Kaya he tried to catch the art. And sometimes, when we are in the midst of situation, we thought God is weak. He is not able to heal me. He is not able to do life for me. Sometimes, that's how we see. Okay? But God is omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. The all-powerful God who created the heavens and the earth, who created you, and by His word, He sustains us. Amen. He could remove the air that we breathe instantly, but He sustains us. Amen? That, that is our God, all-powerful God. The ground of He thought, the ground of nations passion for was less than, less holy than his own land. Kala niya, mas holy na yung bahay nila kesa doon sa, kasi yung, yung natural expression door, at that time, nandun po yun, Ark of the Covenant. Okay? It was the place when the oxen stumbled, and the Ark of Covenant is, was about to fall. When Usa catch the Ark of the Covenant, it was in the natural expression floor. He thought, must holy. He thought that his house, their house, is holier than any other place. And this is something very, 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 uh, uh, it's vital. You know, among other, among our, our I, I don't want to mention, they say, ah, uh, it is more anointing in our church. The anointing is low, low, greater anointing in our church. And if we go to other church, ah, mas maganda yun, mas malakas ang anointing sa church natin. Diba? That was, alam ko yung mga ito, it's happening. Okay? This was the scene, these were the scene of some, okay? Uh, scene of Usa. Next. Usa's intention to help was right enough. His insensibility, the holiness of the art on which even its levitical bearers were forbidden to lay hands, he saw no difference between the art and any 
other valuable article. Sabi guys, wala na magkakaiba yung presensya ni Lord. You equate the presence of God with your work. You equate the presence of God with your family. Wala nang pagkakaiba. Should be God first. Family. Church. Not, not family, God, and church. No. God's presence. First God first. God first. God first. Do not equate the presence of God with your work, with your church, with any other things, with your family. Just want God first. Amen? Because this is the right order. Put God first. To avoid the sin that Usa committed. It says in Proverbs 16, 25, There is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways. Amen? Kala natin tama eh. It seems right. Diba? But at the end, right? It is it will be death. Amen? Huwag kayong magamit sa akin. Hindi po ako. Okay. Number four, kasi tayo may kayo. Immediate action to correct error. This is the good thing. The good character of David. When he realized that God was displeased, okay, he did not insist in bringing the art of God when the situation is not right. He did not insist. He did not insist. He is willing to correct the error. Amen? And sometimes, malina na. No? We still insist. We should be like David. David, who is the most wealthiest, the most powerful, the man after God's own heart, is able, is willing to be corrected. And who we are, Sino tayo? Itong tayo sa po kay Harry David na to accept correction. Amen? Let us not insist when it is not it is wrong. Amen? Sir, when he realized it was wrong, okay, he read the Bible. In 1 Chronicles 15, 13, it was uh, David telling this. It was he said it was because you, sabi ni David, Levites did not bring it up the first time when the Lord our God broke out in anger against us. We did not inquire of him about how to do it in the prescribed way. Ano pa kasalanan niya kayo? Pinakapasalanan niya? They did not inquire. If you will not inquire, if you will not read the Word of God, if you will not pray, you will not hear the right instruction, you will not know the right instruction. And like David said, we did not inquire of Him. Kaya sila nagkamali. Amen? That's the very reason bakit patong-patong, no? After and one after the other, they made an error. Because they did not inquire of the Lord. How can we inquire? We have the Bible. We have the 333 who is always available and you will not hear, cannot be rich. Yeah? Can you die of 333? Yes, how may I help you? The Lord will answer. Yes, how may I help you? But the Lord will answer. But the word in the world, when you die out, when, when, especially if you are uh, borrowing something, from a friend, you are asking for a help. When you die out, oh, sorry, cannot be rich. It's not available at the moment. But the Lord says, die out completely. How may I help you? Tell your answer. How may I help you? Amen? Amen. Just inquire. 
of the Bhagavad he, he said in Sharimaya, uh, ask me and I will show you great things, things you have never seen before. <laughs> Sabi niya, tumawag ka. At ipapakita ko. Sabi niya, tumawag ka lang eh. Ipapakita ko yung mga kamanghang, ang mga bagay na hindi ko pa nakikita. Sabi niya, pangako niya yun. Amen? Ipapakita niya, Dio 333. But be sure, the Jordan River has dried up and the wall of Jericho fell down. Fell down. Amen? Just be sure na wala na pong Jordan River at wala na pong wall of Jericho. When he read the Chronicles, sabi niya, he realized Levites may carry the heart of God. Okay? Because the Lord chose them to carry the heart of the Lord and to minister before Him forever. Levites, the priests, these Levites, okay, Levites are pointing to us. The Levites are pointing to us. Why? Because we are the royal priesthood. We become, we became priests when we received the Lord Jesus Christ. But He is our high priest. Amen? And Levites are to consecrate themselves. Kailangan lagi po tayo ng papalimis. Let us always ask, repent, uh, ask forgiveness. Kung meron po tayo nagawa, amen? Let us ask the Lord to forgive us. And number five, when he realized, see, when he realized, when David realized his error, he has this, in his heart, he wants, he wants to totally obey the Lord. He wanted to totally obey the Lord. You know, he realized the art of God in the house, in the house of Obedidon, it blessed the house of Obedidon. You know, when the presence of the art of God is in the house of Obedidon, you see, the household of Obedidon was blessed. Kung ang presensya ng Panginoon ay nasa inyo, you will be blessed. Amen? Sabi niya, kung nananahan ang presence ng Panginoon sa inyo, you will be blessed. Eh, sabi ko na, in the house of Obedidon. It says, it continued for three months. The Ark of the Covenant continued for three months and it blessed the household of Obedidon. Meron na three months lang yun. Continuous lang doon sa house ng, ano, nila upper ni Tom. And God bless them. Amen? Continuous. Hindi po yun, he did not say, he, the, the Ark of the Covenant was there for a day, two days, three days. It's a continuous, continuous po, continuous. Not seasonal, not temporary. Amen? So, we should allow the presence of God in our hearts, in our lives, to be continuous. Continuously growing in our hearts. Amen to God? For Jeremiah's David read the law of Moses and made an investigation what was his error. He made an investigation. Tinignan niyo, pinag-aralan niyo yung salita ng Diyos. Sa paano nagkamali, what did that uh, went wrong? And he realized in 1 Chronicles 15, if we are going to read 1 Chronicles 15, the specific instruction of God about the heart of covenant was written there. One, when he realized niya, number one, he prepared a place for the heart of God. Una, he only, he only planned, but if we, kung naalala nyo, David made only a plan. But he did not prepare a place for the heart of God. Amen? You know, you know what? When David prepared a place for the heart of God, you know where the presence of God dwells in us? Are we preparing a dwelling place for God? You know what? Our heart is the dwelling place of God. 
And if you intend to invite God in your life, you should be, your heart should be prepared. Because they will make a place for the heart of God. When your heart is full of ambition, full of dreams, full of worldly passion, full of the world, where will be the place of God in your heart? Amen? Your heart should be 100% prepared, prepared for the Lord. He doesn't want a half out. He always wants a full heart. But if you really want to experience the presence of the Lord, prepare your heart, prepare the place, your heart, your heart for the heart of God to dwell. Amen? Maybe some of you, madami problema, madami dinadaanan. And you overlook how great is our God. And you overlook how powerful is our God. The Lord said, prepare your heart for me. And I will do the rest. Amen. Next, the Levites may carry the heart of God. We are, the Levites are where the priests. And we are a royal priesthood. God said in First Peter, He said, we are a royal priesthood. We are, we should be the carrier of God's presence. Amen. David assembled all Israel in Jerusalem. You know, we should always assemble. We should always assemble. And especially when there are gatherings, especially on Fridays, especially when we have these prayers. You know, there are there are so many meetings you know, that we can gather together. Why? We can learn from the other experience. We can influence others of what we are experienced in the presence of God. We will be able to teach them. Amen. So he always be assembled. And he called together the descendants of Aaron. Aaron and Levites, they are the priests. And this consecration, kailangan ko, we always consecrate ourselves. Humingi po tayo ng pagliling sa Panginoon daily. This is important. Levites to appoint Levites. Levites to appoint Levites as musician to make joyful sound with the musical instrument, lyres, harps, and singers. Sabi niya, Levites to avoid Levites. You will not assign in, in worship team and undeliver. You should appoint them yung kapareho yung deliver. Amen? There was an incident last time I won't mention it. In a gathering of a Christian, there was one they allowed to after uh, after the uh, the program, uh, someone allowed to to play or to sing with to play the guitar and sing and and the river. And this is not true. This is not true. Because the Lord said, "We like to appoint, we like to ask." Musician. And remember that is very strict when it comes to music. Why? Because Lucifer, the worship leader, fell. Tempted. That's why God is very strict in this matter. Total religions. When when David investigated the proper way to handle the art, okay? David victoriously brought back the art of God to Jerusalem. You know his nature, his attitude to be corrected, and his attitude, his willingness to do what is right, the right way to do in bringing the art. And he was, David was victorious in bringing out the art of the covenant from the place of Obedinda to bringing that art in the city of Jerusalem. What was the secret? Do David fail the first time? Okay? He was willing to be corrected, not only to be corrected, but he was the one who investigated. He wanted to learn. 
He read the book, the Bible. He read the law of Moses. He learned, and when he learned, he applied, and when he applied, he became victorious. Amen? That's the simple flow, what God wants us to do. We are not exempted in making mistakes. We are not exempted in failure. But what is good is God gave us second chances to correct our error. Amen? And when, you know, when, when David brought the ark of the covenant victoriously, okay, he, ito pa, another is he, gone six paces, meron pa six paces, one, two, three, four, five, six, he did that because it was also in the instruction of, uh, of God, and then he sacrificed oxen and fat paces. Pero mo pa din paces, the distance, he also followed, he also obeyed. Amen. Hindi na minutes of guard. Sometimes kala ko na din malit lang yan. Sometimes it seems so little. Sometimes it seems so unrecognized. Uh, hindi na re-recognize. Hindi importante. But you know it matters to God. Even the video, the most, the most, uh, anong tawag doon? Pinakamaligit na bagay. Nakala natin, even arranging the chair, you know, even arranging the chair, bringing water. Kala po natin, it seems it's very, it's, it will not be recognized. You know, hindi naman tao, it's not the person who recognize you, it's not the person who praise you. The God who says everything will praise you. Amen? Amen, Amen ba? Amen. Nato pa ba? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And after that, he offered. Ang offer niya, they offered seven bollocks and seven rocks. Ano yung bollocks? I don't know what bollocks, but I know what is ma. Seven. Ano yung bollocks? Please help me with this. Okay. Baka rin yan? Yung may sungay. So, when they, they, when they brought it out, it turns the other one. Hey, what? 
slow yourself. Hindi ka makukubad, ha? <laughs> like, maybe the baby will literally remove, no? But what, what signify this is, inalis niya kung sino siya. Inalis niya yung pagkahari niya. Inalis niya yung pagkatalmatalino niya. Inalis niya kung sino siya. Inalis niya kung anong meron siya. Dahil that time, even in his or her lifetime, the most important thing in his life was the very presence of God. Amen? No one can buy the presence of God. Kahit ikaw ang pinakamayaman, If, kahit ikaw may ari ng lupa ng, ng iba ng mga bagsa, eh si Lord ang gumawa ng lahat niya din. You cannot find the presence of God. This is the world trying to do. They try to buy the presence of God by donating, by helping, but without turning from their sin. Eh tutulong lang kita, pero kung huwag ako magiging born again. Diba? Kaya tulungan kita financially, pero huwag mong ipipilit si Jesus sa akin. Diba? Alam ko, pupunta ako sa langit kasi marami akong natulungan. Diba? So, alam mo, God is good. Amen. God is good? All the time. Amen. Number one, okay, prepare to bring back the heart of God. When you really want, the presence of God in your life, you have to make preparation. Amen? One. Number two, there should be an unusual celebration. Number three, there should be reverence, but next, when there is to ever be willing, make immediate action to correct error. Next, when you have corrected that error and you realize you know what God requires, you should be in total obedience to God's commands. Amen? Number one, when you did, did everything this, it is now the right time to celebrate the presence of God. It says there should be Unity. The dwelling place of God is a pure heart. There should be purity in our lives. Amen? Because that, that is what God requires from us. Remember to go back. This was the scene of the Israelites. Remember? When sin is involved, the glory of God will depart. The glory has departed from Israel. Okay? When sin is involved, our shouting, our singing will become empty religion. And the error of David and Uzzah is a sign of a, man of a manipulating the manifestation of the presence of God. David tried to use his wealth to bring back the heart of God by Because during that time, mahal ko magpagawa na unicorn. If you are going to, to apply this generation, they could have buy the most expensive car. Okay? And sa ating po, in our worship, in our church service, we sometimes have this, the innovation, advanced uh, technology, and all that. Okay, it says that we are very busy preparing on physical appearance, but do not forget the most important award in word definition. Next, David, who uses his strength to punch the art of God. Okay, he became so familiar with the art of God, nothing bad happened in their house. Okay? As po, 20 years ko yung, yung part of the covenant na nasa bahay nila Uza, 
So, he became so familiar with the art of God. And, alam, nakita niya naman, nothing bad happened in their house. So, he thought it was okay to display the command of God. With regards to him, he's allowed to touch the art, and his own strength is allowed to touch the art of God. Okay? Alam niyo po ito yung pagkakamali minsan ng tao. Just okay, kasi matagal na akong kristyano. Okay? Sabi nga ba, nang ayaw ng Christian for a long time. And, says, my way, minsan, okay na yan, it's my way. It's my will. It's my strength. My performance. Tama na yan. Okay na yan. But what the Lord says, no. Sabi mo, I am a true Christian. I do not know how. Hindi ko alam. Ano ang ma-invite ang verses nito? Hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. I am not qualified. Sa mga bago, hindi ako qualified. Next, I cannot do it. Hindi ko kaya. But the Lord says, no. Why? The Lord says, because God does not change. God's presence cannot be manipulated by well or man's way because He needs a pure heart. Before, yesterday, today, and forevermore, He requires a pure heart. Purity in thoughts, purity in deeds, purity in words. And, aba naman, God's presence well in a you were hard. When Jesus uh, is the heartbeat of your heart. Amen. And then, you know what? Tayo na po tayo. Tapos na po tayo. Kaya ko yung matatawa. Sabi ko, pikit po tayo. Let us close our eyes. That means uh, your heart. When you really wanted to, to experience the presence of God, alam mo, the most important thing is the presence of God. The presence of God cannot be born. Okay? No matter how wealthy you are, cannot be manipulated by your strength, no matter how strong you are, or it cannot be manipulated by your intellect, no matter how intellectual you are, okay? God still needs a pure heart.